Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss how you can use the formget WordPress plugin to create forms for your WordPress site. Right here as you can see I am on my WordPress dashboard. So what I'll be doing next is I'll search for the plugin, get it installed and I'll activate it to create forms for my website. So let's get started. Click on plugin and then add new. Over here you can search for your form get contact form plugin and here it is form get contact form now click on install now are you sure you want to install this plugin okay as you can see my plugin is getting installed here and it's done let's activate all right as you can see my plugin is activated you'll find this notice welcome to form get you're almost ready to create your form now here you will find this form get contact form at the left side just click on it and here we go you can see form get contact form builder right here on your wordpress so you can start creating forms for your wordpress site from here and then embed it on wherever you want to place it like your page post widget area or if you want to show it as a tab widget so let's create a contact us form for that we'll provide a title just click here and this will come out so we'll provide a title contact form we'll provide with a description submit your details this description is about your form and over here you can see form submit button text Instead of send message, if you want to write something like submit or send feedback or join or any other thing, you can edit that from here. Let's say we want to write submit. And here is the form redirect URL. Here you have to mention the URL of the page or the website where you want your users to be redirected on submitting the form. Now, here at the left side, you can see frequently used form fields, name, email, contact number. You will encounter these form fields in every kinds of form. So those are the commonly used. Then you have single line text, multi line text, checkbox, select, radio button, and you have this upload field where the user can upload the files. And then you have got capture. So let's create a form. We'll start adding fields to our forms. How can we do that? Just click on these fields and it will be added. You can see contact number, message, and I'll add a capture. Now, when you click on these fields, you will find this field label, field instruction, required, and max length. Field label is if you want to write instead of name, you can write first name. You can see the changes it is bringing in here in the field. Field instruction, you have seen that small question marks in the fields uh, where it gives you some instruction like enter your first name and all. I'll show you. You can see, when you click here, it will be giving instruction to enter your first name. So that is field instruction. Then you have got this required. If you want to provide with a compulsion on your users to fill this field, you can get this box checked as required. So the person will not be able to submit the form until unless he fills this field. All right, then we have got the max length where you can provide the max length for the form field, that will be 30. And the same way you can edit your email, number, message and capture section. So let's save this form, we'll click on next step. Here it is asking you to sign in or register to get your form. So if you are a new person, just enter your name, email and password and register yourself. Or if you are already existing in this form get, you can get your email, password and sign in. Also you can log in with your Facebook and Google account. Let's say we need to create an account. And it will provide a password. Register and here we go this is our form contact form submit your details first name email number message and capture and this is our submit button and this is the instruction we provided remember now here you have got the design templates if you want to edit your form you can edit your form from here you can change the templates which changes your background and your form colors and then you have this form color option where you can choose any of the color which you want okay just click on it and then you have the footer setting 
wherein you can provide with the company name description test your social networking website url and your google plus account url also your address email and contact number so let's say i want to write my company name so i can write it over here if you want to provide description text so as soon as you are writing here uh, you are getting this output right away so this way you can edit your future section and then you can save changes now my form is ready and it's showing click below to view your form this is my form all right from here you can share it on your facebook google plus twitter and also you can pin interest now we want to embed it on our wordpress site so how can we do that we'll go here at embed and here you have got three section tabbed widget embed form on your site and wordpress shortcode so let's say we want to display our form as a tabbed widget so this is the code we'll copy this code move up and here you'll find this embed code section click here you can see it's written embed code field will only accept code for tabbed widget so remember it will only accept code for tabbed widget do not place your wordpress shortcode over here so we'll place our tabbed widget code and save it now let's visit our site and here we go you can see this tab widget so this is the tab widget of our form and these are the fields that we added to our form while creating it so this is the title submit your details that was the description and first name email number message captcha and submit button now let's say we want to embed it on our page so how can we do that we'll get back to our contact form builder we'll take this wordpress short code and over here you have two sections one is for tabbed widget and the other one is to display your form in page post or widget area so let's say we want to uh, display our form on page so we'll copy this code we'll go to pages you can see this contact us page i'll edit it I'll paste this code here and before I save this I'll show you my contact us page this is empty now as soon as you will update this and you refresh you will find your form get form displayed here on your contact us page you can see this is our form so in this way you can embed your form on your page now let's say we want to display our form on the widget area so how can we do that we'll get to dashboard embed we'll take this iframe code which is given on the embed form on your site we'll copy this code we'll go to widgets and for example i want to show it on my secondary widget area so how can i do that i'll take this text from here i'll paste the iframe code and then i'll click on save now we'll go to our albums where we have got our secondary widget area and see this is our contact form submit your details first name email number message all are the same fields all right so this is how you can get your form on the widget area and as a tabbed widget and also how you can embed it on your page for example now a user is coming in and is putting up his details on this form all right john at gmail.com is putting up his number is putting a message and here is the capture Let's see now click on submit message submitted successfully now from the user side the message has been submitted now how will you be viewing the entries that are coming through your form get back here on your contact form builder and when you'll go to your dashboard you will view there is one new entry all right this is the view entry section and you can see it's written one as soon as you will click here 
you will find this one new entry that has been made on your form john email number message this is the capture and the date so to view this entry you can click it and here are the details that the person has put in your form and if you want to reply to that user you can reply that user from here all right so this way you can create forms for your website from wordpress and uh, also you can view the entries and directly from your wordpress you can reply to your users all right so this is very easy very simple all you just need to do is just get the plugin um, start creating forms and you can embed it on your wordpress site whether it's on page post or widget area and uh, you can get it displayed you know see this is the tab widget this is the widget area and we also placed it on our page so this is very simple just click on the fields save the form get the embed code and get your form displayed on your wordpress site so get your form get wordpress plugin today and start creating forms for your wordpress site thanks so much for watching